All right, today is all about sealing the floor. I'm going with fiberglass resin. First time using this, so I wanna bring you guys along for my first experience, all right? The reason I'm going with fiberglass resin as opposed to what I normally use, which is spar urethane, is that the spar urethane is oil-based. And the number one glue that I typically use to glue down carpet is the glue that's at Lowe's. That glue worked with all oil-based it basically works with any kind of sealant you put on the wood. And it's very hard to find a wood glue that works with oil-based sealant. There is one, but it costs a lot more money. So I figured, you know what? Let me take this time to try a new product out. New to me, all right? Fiberglass resin for wood is nothing new to the industry, to people out there, especially DIYers. Got my wood, everything is ready to go. It's about a 60 degree day outside, so I think I got great weather for this. I'm going with Bondo fiberglass resin. Underneath the lid comes with the hardener. So if you're buying it, make sure the hardener is there and also make sure the hardener is clear. I looked under here for a couple other ones in the store and it had turned brown. So I don't know if that, oh, that's interesting. It's like an inch down from the top. I don't know if that's normal. Yeah, it looks normal. All right, for a minute there, I thought that the hardener was open and used, but like I was saying, make sure that it is clear. I saw some other ones and the hardener turned brown. I don't know if that's age or maybe it was returned or tampered with or just a bad batch, but you've got your hardener there. This stuff will harden up pretty quick. And depending on how much hardener you go with will determine how quickly the fiberglass resin starts to solidify. So what I anticipate doing is using the recommended ratio on the back of this can and I may up it just a little bit because I don't want a situation where it's just not hardening. I'm going with a roller, that way I can apply it faster. So this is disposable, I can throw it out when I'm done, but I'm going with a roller, I'm gonna add a little bit extra hardener because I want this thing to, to harden up in an hour. That's my goal. On the top side, because I'm doing two coats, once the first coat hardens, I'll sand it down with 60 or 80 grit sandpaper, rough it up to give the next coating something to grip onto. All right, that's the full plan of action. And if you guys don't know, this is part of a Tracker Pro 17 job I'm doing. I'm doing a complete rehab. If you don't know, I'll leave a link right at the top of the screen right now. Click that to watch the full playlist, the full build on this. And I'll also leave a video link down in the description below. Check that out. One way to measure this is for every one ounce, you use 10 drops of hardener. These cups have the ounce mark. I'm gonna go with 12 ounces, 10 drops per ounce. So that's 120 drops. I am gonna do a little bit extra like I mentioned, but I wanna stay as close to the recommendation until I get used to this stuff and know what I, how I can play around. Some guys just dump the hardener in and sometimes that back fires on you, but I'm gonna play it safe. This is my first time through. They recommend just put a little hole in there so that you can regulate the drops. And I'm gonna do that now. A little longer than a few minutes later. I probably put like 150 drops. It took a lot of patience to do that, but I'd rather it dry quicker than not solidify at all. And there's workarounds. If that does happen, I already know what to do, but I wanna get it right the first time. Who has time to waste? All right, this stuff is pretty thick. Glad I'm doing this outside, because this stuff stinks. Very strong smell. Go ahead and pour it out. All right, rolls on pretty easy, pretty smooth. Just making sure I have a really good coating. And guys, I would have went with a paintbrush, but since I have a lot of wood to cover, I didn't want to risk just not being able to cover it as quickly as I need to. I'm keeping a close eye on the actual wood surface just to make sure that I have a good enough coating on here. I've already gone over a couple spots that I've done just to make sure. But yeah, it's going on really well. 12 ounces is definitely not going to cover this entire piece. So it looks like 24 ounces will be my magic number to cover one side. And again, this is about a four, roughly a four by six, I would say. I am not mad at all. It's covering it really well. Shout out to Nate at Nate's Custom Boats. He's the one who recommended using a roller. It's the way he does it. I'm glad I called him and just talked to him about it a little bit. Shout out to Anthony Jones who put me on to this resin stuff. So it actually does a little bit more than half. Yeah, I can see it's already already starting to dry, which is what I want to see. All right, guys, 12 ounces completely done. I've gone past the halfway mark. Probably do another 12 ounces. I might do 10 instead. I do have the side rim to do as well. So I'm going to get to mixing, pour some more in here. Won't show you that.
All right, done. It's on here and it's pretty, it's pretty much drying up already. Everything went on smooth, evenly. You can see a very shiny gloss on here. Look at that. Awesome. Nice coating. Again, this is the underside. I started with the underside on purpose because this is my first time through and it's better to make a mistake underneath than on the top side of your wood, which will take all the water, all the sun exposure, all the everything. There's barely any kind of stickiness. My hands are completely dry. Nothing's on my hands. And this has only been on here, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Take a look at this right here. Everything's completely dried on the tray and I tried ripping this off and it, com it totally ripped the pan instead of coming apart. So I can't even get this roller brush. This has been on here about 30 minutes and yeah, it's, it's on there. I'm gonna rip my gloves even trying to rip this even more. If it's putting this kind of coating and strength onto this, I mean, imagine what it's doing for your deck of your boat. I was trying to take this off so that I could reuse this tray. I figured it, it's already dry. I could just pour more resin in there and do my next coats, but that didn't work out. So I'm gonna toss this out. Now that I'm a lot more comfortable, I'm gonna mix one batch to do the entire top side without having to swap out rollers or anything like that. I'm gonna mix a 20 ounce cup and that should cover the entire surface of the boat floor. Next will be the underside, two coats. All right, coat one on the top side of this wood is done. 20 ounces of resin was the perfect amount. Coated this side, there was none left over. Very satisfied with that. I was able to just use one roller brush to do this side. So reasonably, once you get your quantities right, you can save on materials like brushes and rollers and what have you. Just finished sanding down the first coat that I put on here. I used 80 grit sandpaper, that's what's recommended. It's right there on the container. You can see right here, it's not glossy anymore. I sanded it off to shine. You guys can see along the edges there. Down here, all of this has been sanded. And honestly, before I did it, I was hoping that I would know how much pressure to put on there and not over sand it, maybe eat through the fiberglass resin. But as I was doing it, I could feel how strong it is. It's honestly like trying to sand glass. So I was able to put pressure on it with confidence, knowing that I wasn't sanding down too much. I am gonna brush this off with a broom. It didn't say to do that, but I'm just using my own judgment there, thinking, okay, all of the powder-like sanding shouldn't be on here when I do the final coat. So I'm just gonna literally take a brush and just sweep off what I'm gonna call just a dust from the sanding and then put the last coat on. All right, pretty excited about this. And I love how much time this is saving me. All right, final coat is on here, nice and dry. Got a nice gloss on it. Don't have much sunshine to show you this shot, but hopefully you can get a good feel for the finish here. I did let this dry overnight because I am gonna sand this down for carpeting, but wanted to give you guys a good view of what it's like. And I mean, this is some strong stuff. It, it's no joke, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. Uh, it's really like a really good glass finish. So just to go over some pros and cons for the fiberglass resin, and this is just with my initial use. Again, this is my first time going through, so I'm by no means a seasoned veteran when it comes to this stuff. Immediate pro, dry time is short, a lot shorter than it is for other sealants. I know with the spar urethane, and I love that stuff, Protect the protection with the spar urethane is great. So by no means am I now against spar urethane. I use it on two boats already and it's awesome. But the dry time is minimally four hours. So if you multiply that by the three recommended coats, you do the math, it's a lot of time. With this, you can save a lot of time and get the job done really quick. So that leads to pro number two, applying multiple coats, you can do it frequently. So again, with the fast dry time, which means you can literally put two, three coats on in the same day and it's 100%. Pro number three, saves time. Again, these are all kind of connected. You can kind of see where I'm going with this, but save time, self-explanatory with pro number one and two, get everything done much quicker. Pro four, I'd probably say is cleanup is much easier. You can literally pop out the hardened resin right out of your mixing cup and it will come out clean. That means you can reuse it again and again. And I'll say the last pro, I think I'm at pro number five is you can coat more with this with less. You can coat more with less. That's what I'm trying to say. Once you get a layer of the resin on there, it's on there and it's pretty thick. I found with the other sealant I've used, you kind of got to go over it 
check it, go over it again, go over it maybe three times and make sure that there's a good base of sealant on it. And you stroke this thing two or three times, especially with the roller, it's good, it's on there. You can see the gloss, you can see the protection. So I would definitely put that as a pro as well. So to identify some cons that come to mind is you will end up using more materials potentially, right? So whether it's brushes or rollers, it hardens so quickly, you pause and try to mix another batch to cover something large like this deck right here. Like I did on the underside, you will use another roller. You can't reuse it. It's gonna to start to solidify. So you, I can see where you can use more brushes, more rollers to get the job done. The other part is, yeah, it's a little bit of a hassle to mix in two different solutions, the resin and the hardener to get it right. You gotta get your mixture right, as opposed to buying one solution pouring it out or just dipping your brush right in it and getting to work. That would be a con. I mean, who wants to deal with two things when you can just do it with one? All right, so hopefully you guys got some good information out of this. I'm sure there's more pros and cons that could come out of it, but as I use this more and more, it might reveal more pros and more cons, but I wanted to give at least some kind of first impression from me to you based on this first application I did. And I will say I'm impressed. I am not looking to use anything else but fiberglass resin going forward. And guys, I'm in no way, shape or form sponsored by any fiberglass resin company. This is just raw, uncut opinion right here. That's it, all right, I have nothing to gain from this. Just wanna share some information and hopefully I was able to do that. As always, leave a like, leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Again, playlist in the description below. Check out the full, full playlist on this John Boat Rehab project. Actually, let me not even say John Boat. I'm used to saying John Boat all the time. Bass Tracker Pro 17 Rehab Project. First of its kind. I'd love for you guys to join me along the journey. So hit that subscribe button so you see all those uploads and hit that playlist and check it on out. It's really, really good stuff. All right, guys, I got to get to carpeting this wood and finishing up this boat project. I will see you on the next video. Peace.